Right then, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Binding of Isaac. Looking at my bloody win streak, I should have an inverted halo above my head. <laughs> Seeing as I have done nothing but lose and fail, I figured I'd give myself a rare break from the lost and the challenges and just play Isaac and be able to re-roll everything I want. And we've got the Curse of Darkness. Not even playing on hard. I still got a curse. What is it with this foreshadowing? Literally shadowing with this bloody light situation. Anytime I start off my first run of the goddamn day with the Curse of Darkness? It really doesn't fill my heart with a whole lot of hope! <gasps> oh, coolie do, coolie do, da. Even when I'm not playing the Lost, I put myself in a position where I get screwed out. Are you... are you... So I found a small rock, get a nice damage boost, and the first boss I fight went on half a heart because I suck at this game is the bloody... Haunt. Ooh! Now that isn't bad at all for a first item. Whoa, what the... Pin I just got pinned. Which one's that again? Oh, I don't want the bloody floating testicle dripping jizz everywhere. <gasps> Are you fucking serious? <laughs> I literally just got done bloody recording Super Meat Boy. Before <laughs> I'm fucking playing him. Oh, I love this game. Oh, that's not even to do with this game, really. That's just life. Life is great and life is fine because it's got a sense of humour and it's kind of like mine. I mean, that is a hell of a first item. I think Magic Mushroom would have been better, but for the sheer significance of what I've been recording beforehand, this is fantastic. Oh, a fucking pageancy crown? Oh my god, why don't you jack my dick off and tell me how big it is? You know what I regret now taking the fucking crown? Jesus Christ, what is the purpose of that room? Has it ever done anybody any goddamn favours in the history of its conception? Ever? Ask me. Answer! I mean, English is not my fucking strong suit today. And <laughs> considering how much of a fucking hurry I seem to be in to get to something good in this game, I guess my strong suit would be Russian. <laughs> Why the fuck would I want this? Now my tears have gained weight, now they're out of shape and they feel bad about themselves. Do you have any fucking idea how easy it is to make things feel self-conscious these days? Stop it with this! Are you fucking serious with this goddamn resource deprivation? I feel like Austin, Texas during the drought these past few fucking months. Oh my, are you? I am literally haunted by this thing. Now we're talking. I really wish I had a re-roll of my dice. Yep, really wish I had a re-roll of my dice. Really, really, goddamn really, but there weren't even enough fucking rooms on this floor to generate my dice from the last one. All you needed to do was give me another room to fight something, and that would have been a bloody hell. <laughs> that was kind of you. You gave me one goddamn enemy in a room, then you reward me with that. Good lord, it's like putting a fucking thousand dollar bounty on a paraplegic parked right outside your goddamn doorstep. Hey, it's Gertie Jr. I'm sure you ain't end up goddamn hitting me and ruining my devil deal chances. I'm sure you won't do that at all, will you? No, we're gonna work together, we're gonna be fine and nice, and we can shake hands by the end of this. You know, I mean, you won't have hands, you'll just be a puddle of blood on the floor, but still, it's a thought that counts. I'll, um. I'll just put my palm down in the centre of it and we'll, we'll call it even. I mean, now I'm just getting a whole bunch of drugs just stabbed into me. I'm becoming Super Syringe Boy. Oh, you guys don't stand a chance. You're absolutely fucked with my power. You really are batting for the wrong team. Please be good. Wow. That's like one of the best items ever. Because, fun fact, this is one of the only, I believe, only things that modifies the amount of your tears without bringing down the fire rate. <gasps> Look up! I should help my chances. Oh my god, this could be health down, isn't it? All of them were good. Excuse me. Wh uh, how did that happen? I don't really want range up, but I don't mind that. Wait, I'm, I got bandages, and I'm Meat Boy. <laughs> How's that not an achievement? McMillan, I want something for getting this item combination. Come on! Oh my god, oh my lord, what the fucking holy shit are you doing with your dick in your little bosom bag? Please stop being a fucking old hag. Oh, you, you seriously, you're putting health behind a paywall for me. Literally. Oh, the adversary! Oh, good luck getting through this, not getting hit me. You suck with this guy, you really do. Especially when he's got that bloody tracking home in laser bullshit. How did I not? How did I not get a devil deal? I didn't get hit by him at all! I not got hit on the floor, but come on! That's pretty goddamn good. Awesome. I'm no longer Super Meat Boy, I'm Super Meat Mom. Did I not get hit by that? So I'm pretty sure I was slapped down underneath her fucking toenails, and yet I'm alive and well there. Oh, an angel room! Are you treating me? That's a sign for me to go fight the evil of the world! <laughs> 
You know, I quite like you. I quite like you a goddamn dick tickling lot, my dear angel friend. And I'm going to re-roll that. Oh. <laughs> I win. Have I ever mentioned just how much I win? You know, I've got a good feeling. That's going to drop me an item. I promise you. I can't quite get out or around of that one, can I? Seriously, though. I was one room away from the womb and I got the damage resistance. That's not something I would have ever expected. Or thought I'd ever get. <laughs> you could say. But if somebody told me that was on the horizon, I wouldn't be about to wait for it. You get it? You, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> this is just a fucking other Friday afternoon for me. This, 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 this is my life. I, do, do you understand how weird that is? <gasps> if you commit this disagreement, that'd be fantastic. Whoa. Got the small rock and the secret room with one bomb, and then you and then you reimburse the bomb. Oh, I do love it when I get that item. It's like right at the end of the floor. Fuck it, I'll open that. Yeah, why? That's that's the only use I got out of that. The only use. You know, considering the fact that I've already killed her and I've got one of her items on my head, it's safe to say that dear old Isaac is always going to have his mother on his mind. Wait a minute, I just went from having the tower to explosive diarrhea. I essentially got the closest thing possible to an identical item from pill to card form. Seriously? And I've suddenly found it fitting how I've actually ended up with all these speed-ups while being Super Meat Boy. Fun fact, that be his gimmick. I don't think I really want that item. So? Oh my. <laughs> That's a pretty goddamn good improvement. I'm not saying the item presented originally was necessarily bad, but... This one's much better in my opinion. Am I gonna end up going through every bloody room even though I don't want to? And I'm wary up at the door so I could leave if I want to, but I don't rather have the bloody satisfaction of killing everything that I come across in this barren land. Why you? You are the one thing I don't want to find. Every other enemy I'm fine with. Pestilence, fine. The horsemen, fine. You? You're obnoxious as knobs! Says the guy screaming and being obnoxious as knobs. Well, we've officially come this far. We managed to get Super Satan versus Super Meat Boy. I mean... There's nothing that really makes Satan super, but it's just it just sounds nicer, I guess. I really do love that the animation for the laser and their death is the same thing. It doesn't throw me off or anything. And I know that's the point and purpose, that's why I bloody bring it up, you dingle. You know, you never you notice how I can never get this amount of luck when I'm playing as the goddamn lost. Even though that being said, if I was playing as lost, I would have died a long time ago because I've fucking been hit I don't know how many goddamn times. I mean, how much of my success is completely reliant on the fact that, oh I don't know, I uh, sacrificed half of my fucking health multiple times to get money to buy my power. It's there's no way I could have gotten this with a lost. Oh. No. Oh. No. Oh. I don't much feel like taking Guppy's collar. Alas. My greed got the best of me. Oh my fucking god. Is once not enough? Is once not enough for you, you vicious piece of shit? Come get me! Oh, what's that? You can't cut the knockback? No. <laughs> oh. If I'd kept this with Guppy's collar, wouldn't I have like 100% chance of living? <laughs> Even though that's not the way it works. I'm pretty sure it has an independent roll. Oh, suck my knob. Put it in your gob. Piss me off and out the window, you. I shall lob, because you're an absolute bastard and I fucking hate your guts. Get out the kitchen and in my bed, toots. Ah, that's a joke. It's just it rhymed. No nothing of that is indicative of me as a person. It's a joke. But it'd be good. Oh, cracking! The worst possible pill for my current situation. Of all time! And another goddamn go- I said I was gonna get the goddamn fellowship of the thing. And I have. Oh, how I wish I had kept hold of the full card instead of the strength card. Oh my god, why? I find it fitting that I, as a once proud super meat boy, is now facing the lamb. One meat versus the other. Did I really get hit by that? Can you please stop sucking dick? Uh -huh. can't catch me. I've got a shield. And there you go. Super Meat Boy just succeeded in the Battle of the Meats. This was actually fun. A rare occasion for me playing this game considering the challenge of the god-awful ghastly little shit. So, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'll be ending the episode. Please remember that you continue to interest, enthusiasm, support for a series such as this, see what keeps alive and well. So remember to broadcast that to me by liking the video and in every other way imaginable. I am gonna have to recommend you the awesome Metal Gamers content because he's recently did a Metal Gear Solid video which was hilarious. I mean, I said that about all of his videos because all of his videos are, but this one just <laughs> cracked me up. I don't know why, I just haven't seen Metal Gear Solid footage in forever. And fun fact, seeing as that's free on PS Plus apparently in the next month, I should be picking that up and making content on it myself. So if you liked what he did, you can look forward to what 
I will do. And if you enjoyed my previous Nintendo video, as well as just general quick skits of comedy bits of video reactions like H3H3 Productions, then go ahead and watch Chadtronic. He's a channel I fall in love with. Everything is put out, I adore. He also has a Let's Play channel, just so you know, so if you prefer more game-orientated things, then you can follow that instead. I'd wholeheartedly recommend you give this man a chance. And on the topic of playthroughs of games, if you prefer more thorough ones and less edited like mine, not in the sense that there's less going on, but simply less being cut out in terms of The Witcher, I know that's a complaint a couple of people had, then you may want to go and watch Hearts Bros. They have multiple series going on, they're absolutely fantastic, they're likeable, entertaining, and funny, and they're just... They deserve so much more of an audience than they currently have. And one final thing, I, I humbly request that you follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and my other channel, because there's something on all those for all of you. But that aside, I'd like to think that you did indeed enjoy this, and do indeed want to see more of it, and assuming that you do, please like the video to let me know, and assuming that you did, then I think it's safe to say that considering a joke that I made a whole bloody lot in the Super Meat Boy video, and the fact I was playing as Super Meat Boy, Considering all the extra life items I found in failed runs, and the one that I refused near the end, it's pretty goddamn fitting I ended up not meeting my maker. Oh, don't you love the jokes you've already heard before, and not even just from other people, but from me as well? Just keep saying the same thing. Why are you here?